Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. To those who are new, I am Engineer J. I I am a civil engineer and I am also currently teaching as a civil engineering professor. Now, in this video, we will continue our discussion on virtual work method. So if you missed to watch the first part of this discussion, I have posted the link in the description below. So please watch the first part because I have discussed there on the some of the theory or principle of virtual work method and I have also solved the first problem of this topic. Now we'll continue our discussion. So we have example number two. And then we have the second example here. We are asked to compute the deflection at point D. So again, we need to generate moment equations for vo for both the virtual system and the real system. So this is our real system, of course. So we are asked to compute the deflection at point D. So in that case, we again divide this into several segments. Since again, we have um, different cross-sections from A to E, and then we have also concentrated load in between E to E, so we can divide this into four sections. So we have first section, we have A to B, we have B to C, C to D, and D to E. Okay? Our A to B, we have boundary is from, so if we always um, use X from A, okay? So we have the boundary from of A to B is from 0 to 3, okay? But for B to C, if we still use our X referred from A, so we have this one, and then the boundary condition is from 3 to 6. Now for section C to D, we can use X from A. So our boundary condition is from 6 to 9. And for D to E, so again, we use X here from A. So we have the condition is from 9 to 12. However, you can change the orientation of X. So we can use um, X from E. Okay, so we can refer X here from E so that... Uh, however, we would also change our boundary. Like for example, for section DE, now if you use X from E, therefore our boundary condition would become 0 to 3. Okay? So now this is our boundary condition. So we can um, generate moment for our real system and moment for our virtual system. But first thing we do here is of course to compute for the reaction at A and the reaction at E. Okay, so we can sum up moment at E is equal to 0, counterclockwise positive. We would have negative RA times 12 plus 150 times 6 is equal to 0. So we have RA which is equal to 75 kilonewton. So we can now calculate the reaction at E. So we can sum up, fa um, we can sum up forces vertical. And all the force acting upwards are positive. So we have RA plus RE minus 150 equals to 0. And we know that RA is 75. So we can say then that RA is also equal to 75 kilonewton. So we have now the values of RA and RE. So we can now cut on every segment of our beam. So the first thing we do is we cut at section a b so if we cut at a b we would have this free body diagram in which r a 75 is for real system okay so we have downward shear and moment so our goal here is to compute for the moment equation so we have summation of moment equals to zero again the distance is x from a and counterclockwise force are positive so we have m minus 75 times x is equal to 0. So we have m here is equal to 75x. And that is for section a, b. Okay? 
So we have 75x. Now for our virtual system, since we are looking for the deflection at point D, so we put a one unit load at point D and we assume that our deflection at point D is going down. So therefore, our virtual unit load there is also uh, acting downward. So again, this is a one unit load. So in that case, we compute for the reaction at A and reaction at E. So we can sum up moment at E is equal to zero counterclockwise positive. So we have here RA that is negative at times the distance from A to E is 12 meters, correct? So that means we have times 12 then plus the one unit load, one times three, that is the distance from E, and this equals to zero. So we have now our RA, which is equal to one fourth unit. So therefore our RA here is one fourth. So by summing up for this vertical, so we would have RE here, which is equal to three fourth. Okay, so since we are Cutting at segment AB, so we cut at AB here and we set that as X. So at that point, we would have this free body diagram. So we have one fourth, that is the reaction at A. Then we have the shear and the moment. These are all internal forces. That is our MV. So we can sum up moment at 1, 1, let's say, or section AB is equal to zero counterclockwise positive so we have mv minus one fourth now we know that the distance is x correct that means we have one fourth x equal to zero so therefore our virtual moment equation is equal to one fourth x so we have mv here which is one fourth x and that is for segment a b and now let's proceed to segment BC so we cut at segment BC so we would have this free body diagram so we have RA which is going upward and we know that 75 kilonewton okay let's say if this our B so we have shear going downward and moment internal moment which is rotating counterclockwise so we would have the moment of our real system so we sum up moment is equal to zero counterclockwise positive so we would have negative 75 times x again this x we always refer our x from a then that is negative since our 75 there is rotating opposite to the assumed positive direction then after that we have um, plus the moment the internal moment is equal to zero so we have moment e 75 x so as what you can see we have the same value with the moment at a b so we have 75 x okay for our virtual system again we put a one unit load at point d okay and then this is our point t this is our point b let's say and this is our point c in be between so again we cut in between B and C okay so our X always refer from A and we have already computed the reaction at A which is 1 fourth correct so at that point so we can say that we have this free body diagram this is 1 fourth and then the location is X from A we have the shear and the internal moment so by summing up moment at at point let's say it's our section 2 2 or between B and C counterclockwise moment are positive so we have a moment let's say our this is our virtual moment okay then we have minus 1 fourth X equals to 0 so we have virtual moment is equal to 1 fourth X so we have MV for BC is 1 fourth X as well now take note they have a different flexural rigidity now for a to b we have i is 300 but we have 200 gigapascal um, modulus of elasticity but for b to d we have uh, twice the cross-section of a to b and then we have the same 
uh, material which is 200 GPA. So therefore, we can say that if this our EI B to C is 2 EI. Okay, that is the relationship between the cross sections. Um, the flexural rigidity of BD is twice of the flexural rigidity of AB. So therefore, at AB, we multiply this one as 1 over EI, but for BC, we have 1 over 2 EI. Okay, so we have now BC and AB. And then we proceed to section CD, so we cut at any point between C and D. Let's say this is our um, section 3-3. Three, three. So therefore, we would have this free body diagram. We have the reaction at A, which is still 75, but um, the 150 kN is visible in our free body diagram. And we have the internal forces, shear and the uh, internal moment. So we have the distance is X from A. Okay, so we can now compute the moment for our virtual system. We have summation of moment is equal to zero, counterclockwise positive. We would have M minus 75 X plus 150 times X minus, now we know that the distance from A to C is 6 meters, correct? So therefore, this distance here is, is X minus 6. So we have x minus 6 equals to 0. So therefore, our m is equal to 75x minus 150x minus 6. That is the moment of the real system. So we have 75x minus 150x minus 6. Now for the virtual system, if we cut um, in between C and D, let's say our section 2, 2, our moment equation for virtual system is equal to, um, we have the same moment equation that is 1 over 4 x, since the distance from A is x as well. So therefore, we have 1 over 4 x as the virtual moment for section CD. And then the flexural rigidity is 2 EI, so therefore we have here 1 over 2 EI. And lastly, we have a section DE. So we put our cut section here. Let's say it's our section 3, 3. Okay. So since our X is always referred from A, so it's our X. So the boundary condition is from 9 to 12. So our moment diagram would be this one in which we have this internal forces moment and shear and our x always refers from a so we can sum up moment at 3 3 so we have is equal to 0 counterclockwise are positive so we have negative 75 times x then we have plus 150 times again we have x minus 6 this is the distance from section 3 3 so we have x minus 6 and then the moment plus moment is equal to 0. So we have moment is equal to 75x minus 150x minus 6. That is the moment equation for our real system. So we have 75x minus 150 times x minus 6. Now let's draw the virtual system. For our virtual system, so we cut at this point. That's our section 3.3. Okay, that is in between D and E. So if we draw the free body diagram, we would have this one. We have the internal um, forces moment, or let's say it's our virtual moment and the shear. Okay, and the distance is, of course, X. So therefore, we have the, we have also the distance from A to D. Okay, the, e, the distance from E to D is 9, correct? So therefore, this distance here from um, section 3.3 3 to 1 unit load is x minus 9. Okay? So therefore, we can sum up moment is equal to 0 counterclockwise positive. So we have negative 1 fourth x plus 1 times x minus 9 is equal. Then, um, 
plus the virtual moment is equal to zero. So therefore, we have mv is equal to one fourth x minus x minus nine. Okay. So we have mv is equal to one fourth x minus x plus nine. This would give us mv is equal to nine minus three fourth x. So we have the virtual moment, which is nine minus three fourth x. And since the flexural rigidity between D and E is EI, so we multiply this one by 1 over EI. So we can now use the general equation, deflection is equal to the integration. Let's say we have um, from lower to upper limit. Then we have M of the real system times M of the virtual system over EI. Then we have DX. You can integrate all the um, sections simultaneously or you can integrate these um, sections individually. So let's begin with A, B. So we integrate them individually na lang to make it um, short. So we have deflection is equal to the integration of we have the limit, the lower from 0 to 3. Then we have 75x that is the moment of real system times the moment of the virtual system which is 1 fourth x over ei okay so we would have um, let's say it's 1 over ei integration of 0 to 3 and that is we have 75 x squared over 4 so that would give us we have 168.75 EI. Now for section BC, we have the deflection is equal to, now the boundary is um, 3 to 6 and the integration of 75x times 1 fourth x dx over 2 EI. And this would give us, and this equals to 1 over EI integration of 75 x squared over 8 then we have dx and this would give us now the limit is from 3 to 6 we have here 590.625 over ei okay now for section cd we have Deflection is equal to the integration of 75x minus 150 times x minus 6. Then we have to multiply this by 1 fourth x over 2ei. And this would give us 1 over and from 6 to 9. And this can also be expressed as 1 over EI, the integration of 75x minus 150x minus 6 times x over 8EI dx limit from 6 to 9. This would give us 928.125 over EI. And lastly, for section DE, so we have the integration of 75x minus 150x minus 6 multiplied by, now the virtual moment of DE is 9 minus 3 fourth x. So we have 9 minus 3 fourth x dx over EI limit from 9 to 12 and this would be and this can be expressed as 1 over EI the integration of 75 X minus 150 X minus 6 times 9 minus 3 fourth X DX and this would give us now the limit from 9 to 12 and this would give us using your calculator we would have we have 506.25 
over EI. So we sum up all the value of all the segments. So we would have deflection is equal to 168.25 over EI plus 590.625 over EI plus 928.125 over EI plus 506.25 over EI. This would give us 2193.25 over the flexural rigidity EI. But since we are asked to compute the exact value, then we substitute the value of E and I in, uh, in the denominator. So we have deflection is equal to 2193.25. Now take note the unit of the numerator is in terms of kilonewton meter cube. So we convert that into newton millimeter cube by multiplying 1000 to convert kilonewton to newton and then 1000 cube to convert meter cube to millimeter cube okay so all over our e is 200 times 10 raised to the 3 since we have 200 gigapascal as our as our modulus of elasticity and that is equivalent to 200 times 10 raised to the 3 megapascal and we know that megapascal can be expressed as newton millimeter squared so therefore we have 200 times 10 raised to the 3 newton millimeter squared now for our i since we use this i as our reference uh, modulus of rigidity or our mo moment of inertia therefore we will be using this value of i so we multiply it by 300 times 10 raised to the 6 millimeter to the fourth okay so we can cancel this out this newton here millimeter squared and millimeter to the fourth then the remaining would be in millimeter squared however we have cubic millimeter on the numerator so we can cancel out millimeter squared and the remaining would be in terms of millimeter only so therefore we have the deflection at point d this equal to 36.55 millimeter now since we came up with a positive deflection therefore our assumption that the one unit load is acting downward is correct and that would also constitute to the fact that our deflection is also going downward so therefore we have this deflection at point D and that ends our example number two thank you guys for listening I hope that you've learned something and see you on my next video